Holy smokers, everybody, we have big news today coming from Scion Asset Management, which is Michael Burry's investment firm. We just received his fourth quarter 13F filing from last year. And there are a lot of changes, to put it mildly, that Michael Burry has done in the last three months. Um, most notably of which is that he has a pretty sizable position in Big Lots, which is a beaten down retailer yours truly has talked about for approximately the last six months. I made a couple of videos about Big Lots. I'll also break down a lot of Burry's other positions, but I do find this one perhaps the most unique and pertinent um, given the fact that Burry has been pretty legendary in terms of getting on board with some very significant past stocks that have gone viral, to put it mildly. I'm referring to his Big Lots position, which yours truly was also involved with. But, um, you know, first of all, to break down Michael Burry's portfolio, stocks that he bought into heavily, his two largest positions are actually Chinese stocks, which I have also talked about recently, just the extreme undervaluation of Chinese stocks. But Burry's two largest positions are Alibaba and JD.com. He boosted his Alibaba position in this uh, prior quarter and he added to JD.com as well. So two of his largest positions are in Chinese stocks. And both of these stocks have very undervalued PE multiples when compared with their US or European counterparts. The entire Chinese stock market has just been slaughtered as a result of the real estate crash and the dollar strengthening against other currencies such as the Chinese Yuan and other factors as well. But apparently Burry sees a lot of potential in Chinese stocks. Some other notable holdings of his kind of going down his largest positions, he also bought into Oracle, the US tech giant, Citibank, which I was a bit surprised by, CVS, Google, another big tech name, Warner Brothers, and then he does have two positions in Squarespace as well as Toast, which kind of surprised me as well. They're two um, payment processing, financial services related stocks, and Burry apparently sees a lot of potential in those two. And then we get down to Big Lots. So Big Lots is, you know, has been interesting for me for the last six months or so. And apparently now Burry sees interest in it as well, um, sees value in it, to put it mildly. Um, Big Lots is currently being valued uh, less than what the bankrupt Bed Bath & Beyond was valued at when that stock was still listed but um, had you know declared bankruptcy. So it's being valued at liquidation type valuations. If you take a look at its price to sales multiple, its price to book multiple, it's nowhere close to its peers out there, whether you're looking at Dollar General or Ollie's Bargain Outlet or some other you know Dollar Tree type stock um, that Big Lots might be comparable to. It, you could 10x big lot stock from here and it would still be cheap compared to these other multiples going around in the industry. So there's no other way around it than big lots is currently being valued uh, at liquidation type levels. It, the market is pricing it in for bankruptcy. And the key question to ask here is, is big lots likely to go bankrupt in the near term future? And um, my personal assessment of that, you know, six months ago and, and now is no, given the macro environment, given um, just the, you know, likely tailwinds I see coming up uh, with falling interest rates, with, um, you know, in, uh, inflation becoming less of an issue with consumers, you know, spending more again with earnings reports coming in better than expected for a lot of companies out there. I do actually think that retail will get a boost as well. Um, a lot of this I'm sure has been because of just how unloved the small cap area, especially the small cap retail area has been in the last year. These stocks have sold off very dramatically. It's very telling just to look at a chart of big lots and think that three years ago, this was a $70 stock and it's now down some 95% from that. So. 
It just shows you what sentiment, what a shift in sentiment can do to a company's valuation. It can make it go down the toilet completely. And for big lots, this has definitely happened. Um, I don't want to compare it, you know, entirely to GameStop because the short interest on big lots is about 25% depending on what uh, data, you, data source you get it from. Uh, 25%, you know, that's a decently high short interest. It could undergo a pretty significant short squeeze, especially given the kind of hype that Burry buying into it could have. Um, you know, this is just the first day and, you know, a lot of people don't actually, they don't, you know, no sort of mainstream outlets have written articles on this yet to my knowledge. So this video might actually be kind of on the beginning end of the news cycle, but, you know, um, big lots could undergo a, a short squeeze of sorts as a result of Burry buying into it. Another important thing I'll point out is big lots first quarter, um, you know, guidance and also their fourth quarter earnings are coming out the beginning of March. Uh, that is when big lots will be releasing this. Um, so I do anticipate that this could be a sort of return to profitability for big lots. Just looking at statements that Bruce Thorne, their CEO has put out and others, um, you know, if big lots does return to profitability in the fourth quarter, if they get positive guidance for the first quarter of this year and going forward in this year, you could really see a return in sentiment, which, you know, from this level where the stock has been completely beaten down so much, you know, you could see it, uh, you know, r rally pretty substantially off of this. Um, you know, none of this is financial advice saying you should go all in on big lots or anything like that. Um, you know, it could turn into another type of GameStop scenario of people getting into it. Um, you know, that might happen. I don't know what the likelihood of that is yet. Uh, there is a lot of appetite for that out there in the retail trading space. So maybe they do get behind a stock like Big Lots, seeing that Michael Burry is now behind it. Um, you know, but bottom line, Michael Burry sees a lot of potential in Big Lots like myself, he sees how beaten down they are being valued at bankruptcy valuations. Um, basically nothing better than bankruptcy being expected right now by the market. Um, and so anything better than bankruptcy would, would be a plus for this stock. Um, and I do actually think that, you know, if they are profitable in the fourth quarter and going forward into this year, the stock could rally pretty substantially. So that is why I personally do have a pretty substantial position in big lots at this point. Obviously not saying what you should do. Um, this is not meant to be taken as financial advice, but it is really interesting to look at Burry's positions. He does actually seem to be net bullish on stocks now at this point, which is a little surprising given past statements Burry has made. Um, you know, he was shorting the semiconductors pretty aggressively. That has not played out well for him. So maybe he has had kind of a change of, of outlook of sorts. You know, he bought into Google and Oracle, some big tech names. So apparently he thinks that big tech will continue to do well. And then also the financial services sector with Toast and Squarespace. Um, these are very beaten down financial processing and payment uh, related stocks as well. So, you know, apparently Burry sees uh, potential in those too. He sees a return of, you know, small business activity uh, transactions and things like that to where these stocks would improve. Um, you know, there's a lot to dig into. I'll put the link to Burry's 13F filing in the link uh, in the description of this video uh, below. But I would love to hear what all of you think about this video, Michael Burry's positions, big lots, you know, what, what is he thinking there? Um, I'd love to hear what you think about this video, and I hope to see all of you again at some point.